everybody. I often say the best way to learn stuff is to teach. Um, that when you teach something, you end up oftentimes learning more than what you what you convey. And this was definitely a case of that. So I want to show you something that I I put together on LinkedIn last night, and I I posted, and it is basically just a short DAX quiz, um, and it just asks for this measure. Why does it not remove the the context on month name properly? And um, if you don't know the answer to this, pause the um, the video for a second, think about it, because it's an interesting question in its own right. Um, but for those of you who who know it, or those who've seen the video I did on the what I called the hidden DAX trap a while back, um, if we click on this, what it what it is is that month name is sorted. It's a text field that's sorted by, in this case, month of year, which is a numeric field. And in order to remove the context, you need to remove context on both the, the primary field in the table as well as the field that it's sorted by. And so that's not really the point of this video, but what happened is when I posted this, there was a, um, a Power BI developer named Pavel A., um, I don't know his last name, but he responded and said, that measure, that initial measure works fine for me. And I thought, how could that be given that you need to remove the context on the sort column? And he said, we don't, we don't use a sort column for this. That in, the, in our dates table, what we do is we use um, non-printing characters to sort the field. And I thought, that is absolute genius. And I... I wanted to see if I could replicate that in my, my Power BI reports. And so I want to show you how that works, that I, I was able to replicate it, and it's a really cool technique. And so I wanted to show you both in DAX and, and Power Query how this, how this works and how you can incorporate it into your own reports and potentially really simplify um, your dates table and some other tables that require field sorting. So if we look, this is just the... The practice data set that we we create from standard practice data set from our external tools and we've got the the enterprise dna extended date table and in this table we have um a field name month name and that's the one we're gonna we're gonna focus on for this you can you can do it with any text field but if we look at um if we look at month name and let's Let's just pull that out into a um, into a table. So we grab month name, and what we see is that it's sorted alphabetically. So there's no there's no sort, and so it defaults to an alphabetic sort. And so we're going to need to to address that to get it to work properly in our in our tables and visuals. So let's jump into let's do Power Query first. So let's go to our dates table and we're going to create a custom column here and use just a bit of bit of simple M code. So let's let's call this column um, month name. And we're going to use an asterisk just to indicate that it's a self-sorting column. And what we want to do here is we want to first add the um, the non-printing space and we want to have that vary by month name, by month name and by month number. And so what we want to use here is a function called text.repeat. And if we look here at the formula or the at the function, it asks for the text that you want to you want to insert or repeat and then the number of times you want to repeat it. And so what we want to do here is instead of some explicit text, what we want to do is non-printed characters. And so for that, what we can use is um, a function called character from number. And I've experimented around and the, the number that we're going to use is 0032, which is the number for a, um, a, a non-printing space. And so um, what we want to do now is we want to repeat that by the um, 12 minus the month of year. And so 
month of year is a numeric field. So January is one, February is two. And so what we want is we want the first month to have the most spaces in front, since that'll sort first. And then the second month to have the next most. And so we can do that by just subtracting the month of year from 12 and having that non-printing space um, repeat. And so now what we want to do is we want to close that function off and then we want to concatenate it with month name. And no syntax errors and we hit OK and that adds our column. And you can see here it looks, it looks the same but it now has those non-printing spaces in front. And so we're going to just change this to a text field. And we're going to go close and apply. And now watch this. When we search for month and we find that month name field with the self-sort, and we throw that into a table. Now what we see is, is something very different than what we saw before. That instead of sorting alphabetically, it's actually sorting, it's actually sorting properly chronologically based on the, um, the spaces. And I can show you here that if we look here at the sort by column, it's just sorted by itself. So there's no, there's no additional sort field that is that is being applied. And so we can also do this um, using a very similar approach in DAX. Um, and let me show you how to do that. So let's add a custom column here. So new column and the the, the methodology is the same. The, the, the functions are a little bit different. So let's let's call this one month name double asterisk. And now what we're going to do is, is something very, very similar. So instead of text.repeat, we're going to use a function in DAX called REPT. And it's exactly the same structure. It uses the text and then the number of times you want it to repeat. And so for the text, instead of character from number, we're going to use in DAX the equivalent, which is unicar. And then 0032, which is our, care, our, our number for the, the non-printing space. And then we're going to have it repeat by 12 minus month of year. So the same, same arithmetic, just different function names. And then we're going to concatenate that with our month name field. And let's use the original month name, not the month name asterisk. And in this case, just just to be able to use it in a visual to show you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to truncate this into a short um, into a short field by using left and then three. So we're just going to take the first three characters and let's accept and let's take a look and see if that worked. So now month name, if we pull that into a table. That sorts exactly chronologically as the the M code did, and what I can show you here is that this works not just in in tables, but it also works in in visuals as well. So let's um, here. Let's actually let's take we can use this this table to start with, and then we throw our our total sales measure. into that table, total sales. And now what we can do is just change this to a, let's change it to a column chart. And what we want to do is sort by, on our sort axis, we want to sort by month name at double asterisk, and we want to sort in ascending order. And you can see that that sorts exactly right. And again, no, no sort column needed. So that is, I think that is a really cool technique. Very thankful to Pavel for, 
for pointing that out. And um, I hope you found that useful, something at least food for thought in terms of how you you create and manage your text fields. Um, if you did find that useful, please throw it a like. And um, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.